Hey boys and girls, hi again. Um, here we are uh, at Monroe and we're gonna do a little bit of a clarification with, uh, with some of the questions that came up repeatedly. Um, apparently I used the word module and everybody thought, hey, the module, we, this doesn't have modules anymore. This is like, um, it's not like the old, uh, the old Tesla. I just wanted to let you know that what I was trying to do was to put across just a concept these, these little black lines here, they're just showing you the groupings, okay? The sections that, that are four of them in here that, that make up this battery pack. But there is no lines of demarcation between the two of them, or the four of them. So these right here are running in parallel, which means that you can see the 10 are in parallel. All these things being basically their own little entity. In essence, what you're looking at is 96 groups in series. So if we look at this again, a little refresher, <clears throat> the center part of this is the, um, is the positive side. Okay, that's the cathode side. And the anode side, as in anti, um, it's the negative side, all right? So Somebody has been asking questions on, hey, uh, how about those tabs? I thought this was tabless and whatnot. Um, the tabs that they're talking about are the ones that are inside the battery. And, and quite frankly, they have nothing to do with the output power. The output power still has a cap. So that's kind of a little bit of a clarification there. So let's talk a little bit about <clears throat> something else that seemed to be a bit of an issue. And that was cooling, all right? So, I mentioned that these, um, that these uh, battery cells um, are gonna be sitting on top of a cooling plate, a cooling manifold. So let's, uh, let's try and investigate a little bit about that. This would be the manifold, if you like, for the, uh, for the octo valve and heat pump system. And if you have a look at it, you can see that on one side, it looks very much like it's been cast. And on the other side, you can see that this has been, uh, this has been welded in, uh, it's laser welded in, and that gives you a flat plate. Now what that does is it gives you a path inside uh, and, a, and a flat surface where you, could, uh, where you could, if this was the battery pack, I could take these and stick them on top and that would wick away the heat. Now, some of you said, well, hey, um, doesn't heat rise? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Heat rises. If I'm in a room, um, then that's fine. Um, you're gonna get convection currents. That means that heat rises, it, it's gonna go up and, uh, and cold air is gonna go down. Um, that's fine, but this is called conduction. As, as like if you heated up a, a long rod of copper at one end, no matter whether it was pointing up or down or sideways, eventually the heat would get to your hand holding, holding that piece of copper. Um, that's, uh, that's conducting the heat, and that's what this is. So the heat is all down at the bottom. I wanna pull that out, and the way I wanna pull it out is with some sort of a manifold, and that's what we've got here. I plunk it on top of here. There's coolant going around underneath you know, in, a, in some sort of a path, and that path will wick away the heat from the battery and it'll do it in an effective way, an efficient and effective way. So <clears throat> there's lots of ways of doing it. I can show you this one where we have a welded plate. We can show this one here where this is a single piece casting and it's hollow inside, which means that I can put fluid in and then I have these fins which can take the, the heat away. And then <clears throat> you've got things like this where these are cast in place pipes. Now, a long time ago, um, we, uh, we brought this up to a customer and, um, and uh, we put it in there and said, we're gonna put this in the uh, die casting uh, uh, mold and then we're gonna shoot around it and we wind up with this and then I don't have to worry about leaks and I don't have to have any kind of problem associated with uh, machining because all I do is one plunge cut and I'm done. So that's another way of making the job, getting the job done. But let's talk a little bit more about um, on cooling. So we have the octo valve and heat pump system that's being uh, put into the new um, 2021 Model 3. Now that 
is going to have the same system as what's in the Model Y. So I've been using that term a lot uh, lately. I've been talking about the speed of thought versus the normal speed that, uh, that happens inside of, a, uh, in a, inside of any big organization, which is basically this, the speed of change, or, or actually it's more like uh, the change board, the speed of the change board. That, that really goes slow, and a good example of that might be just basically looking at the Chevy Bolt. The Chevy Bolt has had the same cooling system since before the Model 3. It's the same one. It, it won't change, I guarantee it. It won't change because there's an investment in, in tooling and whatnot that they, they, can't, uh, they can't make a, make a change on. The car is basically um, a static product that, that basically is a platform for a lot of other vehicles. And so consequently, some of those monuments can't move. That's why our Tesla has a giant advantage because they have, uh, they have their own platform and they don't have to retrofit it back to, um, back, to a, back to an ICE vehicle. So these are a couple of things that, that came up and I wanted to make sure that everybody was clear on how this stuff works. And, um, and, uh, and so that's clarified that. I just wanted to let you know that many of you have spotted that, uh, that we now have 100,000 subscribers. And uh, next week will be the Sandy Claus week. So um, we're going to be giving away a bunch of stuff um, randomly. And um, our wrap-up show will be, um, will be like a, a little slowdown for, uh, for the holiday season. Stay tuned. Uh, we're very excited about being here with you guys. Um, I can't thank you enough for all of your support. We started this thing in, um, in, um, on April Fool's Day, <laughs> April the 1st. And we can't believe that, uh, that you've been so supportive so far this year. It's been fabulous uh, for us. And so anyways, thanks very much. Keep tipping those, uh, those cashiers even more now than ever. It's the uh, season for giving. So let's, let's give them what we can give. And uh, thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. And for those of you who are saying, why is he wearing a mask? Um, I'm not filming myself, and this is an active factory. So um, we're doing our best to make sure that we don't wind up with anybody sick, at least in this building. As a matter of fact, we've taken great precautions to make sure that people don't go, they don't get sick here at Monroe. Um, we, uh, we installed uh, new AC systems. We've put in new filters. And we also have uh, ultraviolet light, which um, kills uh, the antivirus, for that matter. And uh, we also, uh, you don't hear them right now because they're all turned off for filming, but we also have a, a filtration system that runs continuously here to try and keep our people safe from anything. And by the way, not everybody's here. We all have a skeleton crew.